Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7.2. And yes, I did say that hopefully today we would be able to explore an adventure and poke around at the new moose that are going to be added in to Wolf Quest, but the update is not yet out. And then I started to get really antsy because the more I thought about it, the more I really wanted Usagi and King to be able to go and have their puppies. After all, they are supposed to be raising this litter as the winter Christmas litter to celebrate the Christmas season. Then is one of the traditions that we do here in the Pixel Biology channel is come back to Wolf Quest and we have their puppies. And what are you guys gonna do about this river, huh? Looks like King is just going to dive right in without without even flinching, but I think Usagi would be a little bit more cautious. I just think it's so fun to think of her as a very tentative wolf, very, very um, excitable. She really is curious about everything, but probably didn't appreciate having to dive into that river. You know, it would be so fun if we could interact with him and gain some experience that way. You get experience points when you play around with your puppies, which I really love. Oh my gosh, just imagine Usagi with all of her puppies. She's probably going to be the most playful thing. That'll be awesome. But let's see. I also did roll the dice today to change their time of day. So their time of day is actually going to be changing to one, two, three, four. Oh, night. So I rolled a five. So that means that I will go ahead and change the time of day. So they crossed the river. They have had a nice long nap. There we go. And look at King. He's got that scar down his eye. I wonder where he got it from. And now we are going to wander away from the river and into the forest. And I think this is just where Usagi is feeling really called towards. She really thinks that it is worth it to come into the forest. Maybe this is where she wants to raise her puppies. But we do need to get some food, actually. So, oh, she's getting a little hungry. So that's actually perfect timing. All right. So let's go ahead and send them over towards... Do, 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 do. We'll send them towards the elk. So they should be able to find some elk in this direction. And let's try taking an elk or two down. But actually fighting that cougar yesterday when we faced off against a cougar out in the open plains. I think she's a little unhappy about being out in these open plains once again. But night probably makes her more comfortable to hunt in. But when we faced off against that cougar out in the open plains. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't think Asagi or, or King were expecting that. All right, let's go ahead and run towards. They've picked up the elk scent, unknown age on the elk scent. And there they are. All right. So what I think Usagi really wants to do is start chasing some of the elk into the forest. And that is also going to be where we are going to have our den this year. So let's come this direction. So we're downwind. And then let's see if we can find the perfect elk to hunt. And I really love the challenge that we have actually come up with this time around. Whoa, watch out for that bull elk. He's going to tell us what for. There they go. Those are going to be the weakest ones in the herd. So let's go chase these elk down. But I really like the challenge that we started coming up with last time where King will actually, there you go, King. King will actually help us with doing the majority of the hunting if Usagi ever does become uh, too worn out because she's a little bit of a fragile wolf compared to a lot of the others that we've had in the past. She's just smaller, slimmer, sleeker. She doesn't really have as much strength, though she has pretty good stamina and speed. And so anytime her health goes down below half, we step back and we let King take over the hunting. And some of you guys were so fun. Like it, a lot of you guys were like, oh, poor King, he has to do all of the work. But I think, I mean, just look at him. He's such a strong, powerful wolf compared to little Usagi. And I think she is much more agile and she's going to be really, really good at defending their puppies from all sorts of coyotes and other predators that may threaten them. But we're going to have to see whether or not the dark wolf pack so the wolf pack from down here we'll have to see if perhaps some of the random choices that you guys as the ancestors in the skies above will be choosing in future straw polls that we're going to be adding in pretty soon we'll have to see if the dark wolf pack ends up deciding to invade or not okay that's not a weak elk where did the weak elk go did she go towards the back of the group we want to make sure we pick out the weak one ladies there we go all right, we'll chase down this one. There's three really good weak ones, so I think we'll chase them down today. So we'll have plenty of, plenty and plenty and plenty of meat to be able to rely on. Look at King. I almost feel like he's proud to be able to think about taking the elk down himself, but he's giving Usagi a good push. Oh, and there's a den nearby. I think that would distract Usagi for a second. Like, really? All right, and then we'll turn. How's the hunt going? Look at that. And King is just taking her down, no problem. He is so awesome. We'll come in to try to, like, land some helping blows. King, you are fantastic. All right, we'll have a little nibble off this one. And let's go take down one more. 
Very, 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 very important to make sure that you kill off some elk before you have your puppies. Uh, I mean, we could just hunt them actively while we have puppies, but this is a good way to sort of build a bit of a reserve and make sure that our pups will be okay. So let's see, let's come back and let's do another little sniff. See which one, no, not you, ma'am. I think it's this one. Yep, this one who is a little bit weaker than her sisters, which means we have to call her out of the herd and she's going to be dinner, basically. Oh, look, and we're headed straight for the den. Fantastic. All right, keep going, keep going, guys. I think Usagi's pretty excited about this and we'll have to give the forest a good sniff and see what's around there. But I really love the idea. Oop, 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 oop. Careful there, Usagi. I really loved the idea that we were talking about last time. Of now when Usagi becomes like half weak, then we have to let, uh, King do some of the hunting and let's get a little bit more food or whenever we eat or whenever we fight a coyote we'll have to roll and see if it had a sickness that we can pick up I love how many complicated challenges we've been able to layer into wolf quest to really keep it vibrant and alive and really 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 stay into the flow of it so let's see now we're facing down the den Ah, uh, the forest den! I think Usagi thinks this is the perfect place to be able to raise her puppies. It just seems like it has a little bit more cover in the back than some of the other dens did. It's got this great view of the food just walking on their hooves down there in the valley. And it's got the river in the distance. I think that something about this forest area just calls to her. And little does she know, maybe it's her great 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 great, great grandmother Luna calling to her through the generations because this is actually the den that we picked time Time and time again when we were leading the moon pack with Luna. All right, so let's go ahead and give this a good little sniff. We'll give it a cursory sort of wander and just make sure that there's no there's no cougars or anything else facing off against our wolves here. And we'll see if we can find any rabbits. That's actually what I'm really looking for. All right, come on, Usagi. Any rabbits? I don't think we'll find any. Oh, oh look, it's the dark wolf pack. Oh my gosh, there they are in the distance. Oh boy, you guys, we're going to have to start adding in some of the straw pole generators pretty soon. So you guys can determine what will be happening with our wolves. And I'm not going to add one in just yet, but when I start adding them in, they will be in the video description and the comments down below. Usually the comments, I think. It's easier for people to see the comments, it seems. And what we'll do is I will create a little straw poll that will have some options of things that could happen, like different choices. It's like a choose your own adventure. And you guys choose the adventure for our wolves. And then that can have some effects. Like you guys might say that Usaki smells a really curious scent and she wants to go and follow it up, but it leads outside of the forest. Should we follow it? And if you end up voting for that being the main choice, then she may end up going to the cattle ranch and she may investigate the cattle ranch before we go back and take care of our puppies. Or you may uh, end up picking something that says one of the puppies smells something deep inside of the den should they dig in the den and see what the, the odd smell is. And maybe the odd smell is just a really nice old rabbit's foot. So we could add it to Usagi's pile of rabbit's feet and see if that could be an ancestor blessing. Or maybe the odd scent is a snake, a venomous deadly snake that somehow got into the den. So adding in those straw poles is really what brings a lot of the Wolf Quest series to life. Darn, there's no bunnies! I was really hoping we could find some bunnies around here but it doesn't seem like we're having any luck darn so adding in a lot of those straw poles are really what bring the series to life so we'll be doing that very soon I'm just kind of holding off because if the moose update is coming soon I want to be able to see what's going on with the moose um, and I don't know how that may change some of what our, we do in our challenge and what we do with our series all right all right all right and now I'm a little lost where the heck did our den go okay we'll turn around and look at the den in just a second Look at this. Usagi even has a little a little stone, a rock. And it, King is like, oh, there she goes again. Oh, I can't jump on it. I really wanted to climb on it. She even has a rock that she can climb on top of. But all right, let's go hunt down one more elk just to be thorough. And then I think it's going to be time. There's our den. Now I know where we are. All right, we'll hunt down one more elk just to be thorough. And then it's going to be time to have our puppies, I think, to mark off our territory. I think Usagi, oh, look, there's our food just lying right here. Well, we didn't even have to go very far for it. But, and there's more food. Good, we did a good job with that hunt. All right, let's see if we can do just another, one more hunt. So then we can focus on just raising our puppies afterward. Ah, there they are. Wonderful, wonderful. Looks like the herd has refreshed itself. 
some of the, the young elk have no doubt grown up. And now let's go ahead and hunt them down. Come on, Usagi. But I think she can only push off nature and, and drag her paws so long <laughs> when it's going to be time to have some pups. I think the pups are about ready to be born. So this will be our last hunt. There we go. Let's try to take her down kind of in the open plains because we'll need some food that we can eat when we are actually walking towards the river with our puppies. All right, almost time, almost time, and break off. So there, now, now King can actually take some of the worst of the hits. He can take down, there we go, cow elk down. All right, you guys, I think Usagi is beginning to realize that she is getting in a very, very nesting mood. So no bunnies, no bunnies to satisfy her cravings for rabbit's feet. So unfortunately, no rabbit's feet uh, to help her out with her little perk. And we're going to have her run straight towards the den. And let's start claiming this den as our own. And oh man, seeing those stranger wolves really reminded me we're going to have to have some of those straw poles in the future, you guys. All right, this is going to be our den. <gasps> Oh, look at it. It's got the perfect little spot, some nice roots, and the puppies can go deep inside there. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let's go ahead and start marking it. And we may even have our puppies, our winter litter of wolf pups for the Starry Skies pack today. That would be very exciting. All right, let me go ahead and mark this territory. Now that she's decided that she wants to be here, I think she'd be very thorough about it. Like, okay, we've got business. We've got to hurry. Any second now, she's going to give birth to these puppies, and that's going to be a little bit of a distracting occasion for her. All right. And where where did King go? King, are you helping to mark territory? <laughs> I think this sudden shift in gears would probably confuse King a little bit. One second, Usagi is wandering around. Doesn't really seem like she's going to settle into any particular spot. And the next second... She's like, this is it. This is our home. And she immediately wants to start marking off territory. Even though there's some stranger wolves that I think King would be very concerned about. Being from the Vista pack seemed that King is really familiar with the politics of controlling territory and keeping other packs out of your space in a respectful or sometimes very powerful way. But uh, I think um, he'd be a little worried about the fact that you can almost look through the, the woods here and look into the eyes of an enemy wolf pack. But I don't think that Usagi is really that stressed about it. So we're going to keep her moving. There we go. There we go. I don't think she really knows to be worried about it. I, I am pretty sure when she grew up, we weren't really battling with another wolf pack. Maybe if she had bothered to check in with her father with Kuma and Willow, um, then maybe she would understand that it's of more concern. Oh, looks like King is getting into the action too. So he's helping to mark the territory. All right, so we're going to claim this as our own. And I wonder if Usagi is the type of wolf who just kind of will run off anytime there's confrontation. Like if we end up in a fight with the other wolf pack or in a fight with a lot of predators for this space, will she defend her new den or will she just run to one of the other dens? We'll have to see what kind of wolf she becomes. So she's going to be a mom any second now, you guys. Oh my gosh. I have some names that I picked from the comments that were chosen due to a random generator. So I rolled a random generator and then picked the names that fell um, closest to them. And lined up four boy names and four girl names. And we're going to have to see what the puppies look like. Oh, come on. Usagi, how much more do you have to pee? <laughs> how much more space do we really need to mark off? Oh, my goodness. All right, 90%. Oh, King King is like, look, if we're going to be here after all, we're going to be thorough about it. <gasps> here we go, you guys. Okay, we have established our territory. That means it is time. <gasps> We've got the puppies! There's four girls and a boy! Oh my gosh! Or three girls and a boy. It would have been very exciting if it was like five pups. But there we go. So we have had our puppies. Welcome to little Harmony. And then we have a little Kitsu. We have Karma, who already has a really cool uh, backdrop to her name too. And then finally we have little Navi, our little boy. So there we go, you guys. Harmony, Kitsu, Karma, and Navi. Let's see what they look like. I'm so excited. Oh, and I need to roll to see how difficult life is going to be. It's going to be arduous, so it's going to be a little bit challenging. All right, where's the... <gasps> They're so cute! Look at them, you guys! Oh my gosh, Usagi, you have so many babies who look like you. Look at this. So she's got three babies who look like her, and one baby who looks like Knight. Or, excuse me, King. I keep calling him Knight because we had a Knight, and I miss him. <laughs> we had two Knights, spelled differently. All right! Look at our family! Look at our family! 
king. I'm so happy about this. This is wonderful. So we've got quite the happy little wolf, wolf family now. I just need to find where our other... <laughs> oh, look at them play. Oh my gosh. And now we need to just convince our puppies that they need to stay by the den in order to stay safe. Even though I think Usagi would be very, very um, curious. And so I think she would have a hard time convincing her puppies to stay by the den when she herself admires a curious nature in a wolf. So we'll have to see how she does as a first time mom, even though she's a little bit silly and even though she's a little bit overly curious. And we'll have to keep our puppies well fed and then we'll have to start to prepare for the challenge that we are going to face in raising this litter and it has something to do with eagles so i will explain that to you guys and we will keep an eye out for the moose update next time i'll see you then Bye bye